It's time now for a little latest in local sports and sports. We've got high school baseball this afternoon here on the Big Dog 105.5. It's the Wayne County Gator Jiggers host the Wayne County Gators in a key region matchup this week. It's a three-game set. Wayne County host here on Tuesday night goes to Ware County on Thursday night. Comes back on Friday night for the third and final game of the series. Our pregame will begin at 5.50 this afternoon. Jackets currently in first place in the region with a record of 6-0, while the Gators sit in second place with a record of 5-1. This series will go a long way to determine who wins the region. If the Jackets take two out of three in the series, they wrap up the number one seed and head into the state playoffs as the number one seed. Once again, game one set for this evening at 6 p.m. at Howard Belt One Field. Come on out and support the Yellow Jackets. Again, Wayne County and Ware County is set for today at 6 p.m. Currently, the high school rankings are out in 5A. Wayne County comes in at number six. Currently, it's Blessed Trinity 1, Loganville 2, Greenbrier 3, Cartersville 4, Stars Mill 5, then Wayne County at number 6, Calhoun is 7th, 8 is Decatur, 9th is Harris County, and 10th is Northside Columbus. In AAA, Pierce remains at number 8. In AA, Vidalia has moved to number 1. Love at number 2. In 6A, Buford remains 1. In 7A, Grayson 1, Parkview currently at number 3. Our high school golf team at Wayne County High School continues to win every match they participate in. They win the Neil Graham Invitational Monday in Douglas. While there were 16 teams in the field, Wayne shoots a team total of 317, beat Jeff Davis, who came in second with a 319. Lions finished third with a team total of 321. Fourth was Metter with a 323. Other teams competing, Tift County, Camden County, Pierce County, Lee County, Valdosta, Thomasville, Coffee, Veterans, Metter, Vidalia, and Ware County. Again, most of the region teams were there. Again, Wayne County beat Coffee, Ware, and Veterans at the match yesterday. Sophomore Antonio Warbay, the low scorer of the day, he shot 75. He was named to the all-tournament team for the event. Finley Burke, sophomore and freshman Brett Malloy shot 80s. Freshman Aiden Jones shot 82. Sophomore Jacob Strickland also participated for the Jackets. Jackets are at home today. They host both Camden and Richmond Hill. The match begins at 3.30 this afternoon. In a very talented high school golf team, they continue to just blow away the competition. Other spring sports in action this afternoon. Soccer teams host Tattnall today. The tennis teams are on the road at Warner Robins. In recreation action last night, which got back underway after spring break, 8U softball, Odom 7, Dirt Diamonds 1. In 10U softball, the Gators and Odom tied at 15. In 12U softball, the Yellow Jackets defeated the Tigers 8-6. to And in 14U softball, the Jackets beat the Tigers 7-6. In 8U baseball, Odom over the Pirates 6-4. Cubs over the Reds 7-3. Rockies beat the Braves 10-3. In 14U baseball, the Padres 6, Jackets 1. The Braves 9, the Jackets 4. The Atlanta Braves lost last night to the Miami Marlins. The final score in that game was 5-3 in 10 innings. Braves and Marlins tonight. Again, we'll start on AM 13-70. Join in progress after the Wayne County, Ware County High School baseball game. University of Georgia gearing up for its spring game Saturday in Athens. All the quarterbacks will be on display, including starter J.T. Daniels. Also in the fall, Carson Beck, Brock Vandegrift, the highly recruited quarterback out of Prince Avenue High School. Also in Athens for another year, quarterback Stetson Bennett. Again, the G-Day game set for this Saturday in Athens. And one final sport note, the eSports team was in action yesterday. The Lincoln High School Strings Ultra played in the best of five Rocket League match against the Macon Academy for classical education screaming the Stings lost the first two matches very nearly, and then the opponent ran away with the third match. Games four and five were not played. Again, Landon Pye was the top performer for Wayne County for his many saves. Stings are now four and two in matches and 12 and 10 in games, putting them in the 15th ranking in Georgia's 65 competing teams. Playoffs began on April the 26th. That's going to do it for what is in local sports. sports.